Today's sew along is for the Arden Pants by Helen's Closet. These pants feature an elasticated waist and you also have the option of elasticating your cuffs. And we're also adding pockets today. I've sewn these pants once before in a lightweight linen rayon. And today I'm sewing up a more wintry version in a heavier weight linen blend. This fabric is called Cali Royal and you can find it at Folio Fabrics. I hope you join me in sewing these pants. Let's get started. Place your pocket and its corresponding front pant piece right sides together matching the slanted edges and pin in place. Do this for both pocket and front pant pieces. And then sew these slanted pocket edges with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once that's sewn, flip the pocket over its seam allowance. So now the wrong side of the pant and the wrong side of the pocket are facing each other. And give that pocket seam a good press. Once that seam is pressed, we're going to top stitch that slanted seam twice. First edge stitching close to the edge of that seam, and then stitching once again from top to bottom with a quarter inch seam allowance. Again, doing this for both pockets. Now that the slanted edge of the pocket is top stitched, we're going to fold our pocket right sides together, folding it right along the notches at the top and the bottom of the pocket. And then we're going to pin together the bottom edge. Now that that's pinned, we can sew the bottom edges of the pocket with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, and then finish in your preferred method. I'm going to be using my serger. Repeat this for both pockets. Now that the bottom edge of my pocket is sewn and finished, I'm going to turn the pants to the right side, and I'm going to align the top opening of the pant with the notch marked on the pocket from my pattern piece. And pin the pant to the pocket along the top edge. And I'll also pin the pant to the pocket along the side seam. Do this for the tops and sides of both front pant pieces, and then take it to your sewing machine and baste those edges in place with a half inch seam allowance. For both of your back pocket pieces, fold the top raw edge to the wrong side by a quarter of an inch. Once those top folds are pressed, turn these pieces to the right side, and we're going to fold and press them one more time right along the notches marked from your pattern piece, and along those side edges. Then we're going to sew those folds in place with a half inch seam allowance. Now I'm going to trim my top sewn corners and turn the top flaps right side out, poking out the corners. And then fold and press the remaining side and bottom edges to the wrong side by half of an inch. Then we'll take both pockets back to the sewing machine and we're going to edge stitch the bottom of the main top pocket flap, edge stitching close to the folded edge from one side to the other for both pockets. I've transferred the pocket placement markings from my pattern piece to the right side of my back pant. Now I'm going to place the wrong side of my pocket on the right side of the pant piece, aligning it with the pin markings and pin in place along the side and bottom edges. Do this for both of your back pockets, then we'll take them to the sewing machine and we're going to edge stitch around the top and bottom edges close to that folded edge of the pocket. Once we've gone around and we're at the opposite top edge, we're going to pivot our stitching, back stitching to secure, and then top stitch around once more with a quarter inch seam allowance, finishing off our stitching by back stitching along that top edge, that quarter inch distance to meet the stitches that we started with. Doing this for both pockets. Now that the back pockets are attached, place your back pant pieces right sides together and pin them together along this curved back seam. Sew this seam with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and finish your seams in your preferred method. Mm -hmm. 
Once that seam is sewn, open out the back pant pieces and press your seam allowance toward the left side of the pant, the pant leg that will be on your left side when you wear it. Once that's pressed, we're going to top stitch this seam twice, just as we did when we top stitched the back pockets earlier. First, we're going to edge stitch alongside the seam that we just sewed. Then we're going to top stitch once again from the top of the pant with a quarter inch seam allowance to the bottom of the stitching that we just sewed. And we're going to sew the front pieces together in the same way, placing them right sides together, pinning together the curved seam, sewing with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and finishing the seam. Then open out that seam and press your seam allowance toward the left side of the pan as worn. And then we're going to top stitch in the same way, edge stitching close to the original stitching line from the top to the bottom of the curved seam, and then top stitching once again with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now place your front and back pant pieces right sides together, and we're going to pin them together all along the inseam, making sure to match up those center crotch seams. Now using a 5 8 inch seam allowance, we're gonna sew from the bottom of one pant leg all the way up and around the curve and back down the opposite pant leg, and then finish your seams in your preferred method. Here is one of the pant seams that we just sewed. We're going to take these seams on both sides of the pant and press them toward the front pant leg. Additionally, at this point, we can pre-press the hems in the bottom of the pant legs, pressing those raw edges first to the wrong side by a quarter of an inch. And once that quarter of an inch is pressed, we're gonna press it once again to the wrong side, right along the bottom notches marked from the pattern piece. Once we have those pressed in place, we can open out those pressed edges and with this seam allowance still pressed toward the front leg, we're going to top stitch the seam allowance, just as before, first edge stitching close to our original stitching line, and then stitching once again with a quarter inch seam allowance. We're gonna do this from the bottom of one pant leg, straight across that center crotch seam, and all the way to the bottom of the opposite pant leg. Now place one corresponding set of front and back pant pieces right sides together and pin your side seams, making sure that those pressed hem creases are still opened out flat and pin for both side seams. And then sew both side seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and finish your seams. Now that the side seams are sewn and finished, turn your pants right side out and with the side seam allowances pressed toward the back of the pant, we're going to top stitch the side seam along the side of the pocket from the top of the pant to the end of the pocket bag. You can feel with your finger where the pocket bag ends. We're going to top stitch along the back pant an eighth of an inch away from that side seam from the top of the pant, back stitching at the end of the pocket bag. Do this for both side seams. Place your front and back waistband pieces right sides together and pin your side seams. Sew your side seams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and press your seams open. And then fold your waistband in half the long way wrong sides together and give those top waistband edges a good press. Now we're ready to start attaching the waistband to the top of the pant. We're going to place the waistband on the right side of the fabric for the top of the pant, aligning the side seams and our notches that indicate the front and the back of the pant, and pin in place all the way around. Now that that's pinned, we can sew the waistband to the top of the pant all the way around with a 5 8 inch seam allowance, making sure to leave a gap in your stitching of about two inches so that we can insert the elastic.
To determine the length of your one and a half inch wide elastic, wrap the elastic around your waist until it feels snug but not tight, and then add an extra inch to that measurement before you cut. Attach a safety pin to one short edge of the elastic, and then feed the elastic through the waistband through the opening that you left in your stitches. Once your elastic comes out the other end, overlap the two edges by one inch and pin in place. Then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and do a series of straight stitches back and forth to secure. Now we can pull that elastic fully to the inside of the waistband. Then we can sew that opening shut following the original stitching line and finish those raw edges together all the way around. Now pull the elastic in the waistband taut a few times to distribute the material of the waistband evenly along the elastic. Then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and top stitch the waistband twice. We're going to top stitch first 3 eighths of an inch away from the top edge all the way around. Then we're going to top stitch once again 3 eighths of an inch above the bottom edge all the way around. Pull that elastic taut as you sew and sew with a regular straight stitch. Now working from the inside of the pant, fold your hem along your pre-pressed lines, and with your quarter inch fold tucked under, pin in place all the way around. And do this for the bottoms of both pant legs. And then edge stitch close to those inner folds all the way around both pant legs. And now that the pants are hemmed, your Arden pants are complete. Thank you for watching this sew along. Check out the rest of my video library for more great sewing inspiration and I'll see you in the next video.